As our biggest health systems remain full, administrators of smaller hospitals tell us that they are being overrun with patients of many different problems, not just COVID. News 8's David Horak has that story for us, all new at 6 o'clock. Yeah, it's not just COVID. It's chronic illnesses and other patients trying to get treatment for whatever else they are dealing with. And all are trying to get a place to check in. But smaller hospitals are having a hard time admitting these patients anywhere. There is no ability to transfer a patient from one hospital to another. If, if you're full and you have a patient who needs to be admitted, um, there's no place else to send them because everybody's uh, in the same condition as we are. Joe Bonello, who serves as vice president and chief nursing officer at Holland Hospital, says they are at maximum capacity with 40% of their beds occupied by COVID patients. Right now, a true and tried solution of taking patients to another hospital is not working. During normal times, we routinely transfer patients among the different hospitals in the region, regardless of, of what um, system you're affiliated with. Um, so, so normally that's not a challenge for us. Um, the, and the challenge right now isn't that we're out of system with any of the other regional hospitals, it's just that they're all full also. We remain very open for business, but very, very busy. For many weeks, Spectrum Health Administrators say their regional hospitals are at or near 100% occupancy, including their emergency departments. Senior Vice President of the Hospital Ops, Chad Tuttle, explains they try to closely coordinate with EMS agencies for transfers as efficiently as possible, but it's not always available. And in those cases, we do support hospitals like Penna and other regional hospitals with uh, virtual provider support. In many cases, uh, we provide some actual staffing support as well, where we've redeployed the staff to make sure that we can always provide a safe level of care. That's that you breathe through it. And it'll be over before you know it. Both administrators say a chief indicator of whether the situation will improve anytime soon is the COVID positivity rate. Michigan's positivity rate is at 18% and climbing. Positivity rate is for sure one of the best indicators that we have based on what our prior experience has been in earlier surges. We know that the hospitalization rate tends to follow the positivity rate by a couple of weeks. And so we watch that carefully to see if that starts coming back down. And they also urge you to not wait on any. Any treatments, checkups, or visits with your doctor so that way you won't increase your chances on having to wait outside your local ER during a severe emergency. Inside our Kalamazoo studio, David Horak, News 8.